Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this hover effect in Adobe XD. So when you hover on the card, this nice big text scrolls over, changes color, and it's a really cool hover effect I found on Dribbble. So that's today's tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, I've set my artboard to 1C, 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 and that's the darkest block we're going to be using. I'm going to be doing this in a dark theme, but feel free to use this in a light theme if you'd like. And I'm also going to be using 272727 as my light gray for the card. So I'm going to grab a quick rectangle and just drag one out in a shape that I like. Any shape will work. Let's go with something like that. I'm going to make sure that's centered to the artboard there. And then we'll set that to our black color and remove the border. I'm going to zoom in on the card. So the first thing we want to do is set up that basic card layout. So we're going to have a title paragraph, and then we might have an icon down in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some text. I'm using a plugin content generator, and I'm just going to generate a title. And let's set this to 30 point and bold that font. And let's go with Roboto for the font family. I'm going to convert this to a text area and just scale this in. Double click on the bottom there to expand that. And let's set a line height of 130%. So 30 times 1.3. I'm going to drag out a text area below that and generate a paragraph. And for this, we're going to go with 16 point font, regular weight, and we'll do 16 times 1.5. Going to give that a decent amount of space below our heading, 25 point. And we're 20 from the side of the card, so we'll drag that out. Let's give that icon plenty of room. And then from the bottom, I'm just going to push these up until we have 20 there as well. I'm going to drop the opacity down on that white paragraph text just to get some contrast between that and the heading itself. And I'm also going to adjust this text just to look like it finishes up right there and then we'll delete the rest. We don't have a lot of space up here, so let's go ahead and scale that down to like 25 or so. 25 times 1.3 for the correct height. And then we'll put that 25 above our paragraph. Just gonna quickly grab an arrow icon. Set it to white. Let's rotate that so it's pointing to the right position, 20 from the bottom and 20 from the right hand side. So for that effect, we need a large font up here in the top. So let's go ahead and set this title to something like, I'll just put YouTube and then I'll convert that to a point text and we just need to shift that down. And then I'm going to hold alt and copy that, create a duplicate, then just drag down on that bottom point. And then I'm just going to scale this up to a decent size. And I want this second letter to be kind of cut off here on the edge. Something like that. I might even scale this up a little bit larger. Now to mask this, I'm going to grab this rectangle in the background. Command C, Command V. We'll paste a copy of that on top of everything. And with that selected, I'm going to hold Shift and grab the text. Command Shift M will mask that with that shape. So we have this area the same size as our card. So I'm quickly going to send that to the back with command shift left square bracket key and I'm going to bring it one layer forward with command right square bracket key. That way we can edit our text and our icons. So if we go into the layers panel, our mask group is right above the background rectangle there. So I'm going to grab this text and I'm just going to fill it with the background color which is at 1C, 1C, 1C. And then from here we can make further adjustments. Then once we have something that we're happy with, we're ready to go ahead and make this a component. So I'm going to select everything and hit Command K. And now we have a component. You can choose to name this over here in the components if you'd like to. For now, I'm just going to leave that. Over here in the component master settings, I'm going to select the plus and go with a hover state. And on this hover, what we need to do is we need to change the background of our card. So I'm just going to go in the layers panel, grab that rectangle, and let's make this a nice blue color. And then I want this text to be white. And then I'm going to select the text itself. And I'm going to hold shift and just drag to the left until I get to something like that. 
That way it slides that text on over. So we'll go into the prototype tab now. We have this hover wire. Let's go ahead and set the duration to the max of five seconds. And then we'll go with ease in and ease out on that animation. Then when we hover over, you can see our text scroll over like so. And then when we hover off, it's gonna scroll back over. So that's how to make this cool hover effect in Adobe XD for these cards. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you guys wanna see some more Adobe XD tutorials, let me know what you wanna see down in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed for that future content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.